Goliath's challenge was a trap and I'll give you just the two reasons why. The first reason is because of isolation. See Goliath was interested not for armies to fight armies. He was interested in him fighting a person alone. Meaning he wanted to take someone out from the army and fight them alone. Goliath promoted a superhero syndrome. I can do it by myself. I don't need nobody. And though God used this foolishness by promoting his name, we don't see God ordaining or encouraging the tactic of supermen fighting to determine the victory for their armies. God always is in the army, not in super soldiers. God is not interested in building superheroes. God is interested in building a super army. People who fall for this trap of the devil to isolate themselves from the army, to isolate themselves from the church, to isolate themselves from the group of people, many times will find themselves being Goliath's breakfast. He eats them alive. You may say, well, David didn't. That's in the first giant he fought. But there was one more giant David fought alone and that giant destroyed him. It was when the army went to fight but David stayed home and that giant destroyed David. And that tells us you're not safe when you're not with the army. When we are in the vision and you are outside you're not safe. When we are seeking to bring people to Jesus and you are on the outside, you are not safe. Doesn't matter how much superpower you have, your power as a Christian is in the community, not in isolation. You and I are like snowflakes. We are weak when we are alone. But when we are together, we can stop traffic. Amen. When you are alone, Satan can crush you. When we are together, we can crush his kingdom. The Bible says we are a body, we're not an island. Which means each person, I am because you are, you are because I am. When you isolate yourself from the Christians and when you isolate yourself from other people and you are just by yourself, you are falling for a trap of a Goliath to isolate you so he can defeat you. When you are alone, he can defeat you. When we are together, he will never defeat us. Can somebody say amen? Statistic actually has proven that elderly people, those without adequate social interaction, die twice as likely prematurely. The increased mortality risk is comparable to that of smoking. Means if you are alone, you struggle with loneliness and you don't have people around you, your chances of dying are the same as someone who's smoking. Why? The first thing God said that was not good about his creation is for man to be alone. On. One of the ways we punish people for crime is by making them alone. Loneliness and being alone, having nobody around you who knows you and who knows your life and encourages you, my friend, it's equivalent to smoking. If you walk around and say, I don't drink and smoke, but your life is in isolation you are not going to live a long life. You will die very short. That's what the science has already proven. This is not Bible, this is science. Bible already talks about it. Also they did a statistic that loneliness is twice as harmful for you as obesity. Many people think that you know if, if uh, we have extra weight and we all know if you have extra weight you have a lot of other diseases that will come in as if people who don't. But they have proven that loneliness is twice as dangerous and this is why. Social isolation impairs immune function and boosts inflammation which leads to arthritis, type 2 diabetes and heart disease. So when Goliath says I want to get you alone, it's a trap. Don't fall for it. I know some people say well I cannot join the church, I cannot be a part of the church because church is full of hypocrites. There is room for one more. How many of you stopped going to the gold's gym because 
after Gold's Gym you see me eating McDonald's. <laughs> you don't stop going to Gold's Gym because people there eat snacks and drink coke while working out. You're looking, you're such a hypocrite but you still go to Gold's Gym. So don't tell yourself, well, I can't come to church because there's a lot of hypocrites there. The devil is a liar. That's an excuse and we have to push that excuse away. Remember one thing, the price for unity is always less than the consequence for isolation. The price you will pay to be in a community is a lot less than the price you will pay for being isolated from the body of believers.